Hi there. Today uh, I'll be analyzing one of the problems that occurs in DaVinci Resolve. From the best I uh, can guess, or from my guesstimate, estimate, whatever you want to call it, this happens because of RAM, or lack thereof. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, uh, I think, requires uh, at least 16 gigs of RAM in its minimum spec. And you can run it probably with less, but you are bound to experience some issues. One of the issues that people uh, experience quite a lot is that the waveform uh, in the audio track just doesn't appear. And it looks something like this. So first, let's go over the basics. Here in this corner, uh, you have the timeline view options. And the timeline view options are very good to know and good to get familiar with. Here you have the option to have stacked timelines, but if you're using stacked timelines, you're probably more advanced than the average user. Uh, then you have the subtitle tracks. I usually turn this off, uh, but I think it's on by default. Video viewing options give you film or a thumb or a plane. Plane is the least useful for me. Thumb only shows you the first image of the clip when it starts and film shows you like frames of the image and how they change. Also, there's a very useful uh, track height adjuster in which you can increase your video track height and also the audio track height. So when you have the tracks this um, big, if you have a big enough monitor, it's very easy to track where you want to cut something. So what I wanted to say is if you don't see the audio track, first uh, check if your timeline view options has the option checked or not. If it's not checked, it's an easy fix. You just click here and it's done. If you do have them checked, try checking audio view options on and off, all of them, and also resetting this option. Sometimes you'll have a video that just didn't load the track in. It might be because of your RAM and restarting DaVinci might help you resolve that. If that doesn't help and everything here is checked and it is as it should be, then you want to save your project and restart your PC and then launch DaVinci first because you need DaVinci to take most of your RAM and most of your memory before other applications hog up the resources. Other applications might include browsers, audio editing software, maybe Photoshop or Illustrator or something that you use to create thumbnails or other graphics for your video. That's today's tip and that's how you solve uh, the invisible waveform. Uh, if you have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll try to find the answer for you and make a video about it. Uh, thank you all for watching and I hope you learned something. See you in the next one. Bye.